There's a few times that are really good to apply liquids. So common uses are starters, say corn starters. Um, that really helps with locational nutrients before the plant can really start stretching out its roots. It puts them right nice and close by the seed so it can access them readily. After that, it really depends on the crop. Um, there are certain periods of influence where, say, foliar sprays can make more of a difference. Um, usually, say, like for corn, right before seed set, if you can give them an extra kick, it basically convinces the plant that it will have the nutrients to produce more fruit, so then it basically will kick the plant up into producing a few extra bushels because it realizes it has nutrients available. The other huge perk to foliar applications is micronutrients. A lot of times in Michigan we'll run into high pH soils and micronutrients tend to lock up in those high pH soils. So even if you apply more to the soil, a lot of times they'll have a tendency just to lock right up and not not come up into the plant. So because they're required in such small amounts, foliar sprays can be an extremely efficient way to add them and then you don't have to worry about the soils locking them up. And the fulvic acid comes into play in that realm too because it can improve um, intake through foliar applications of those micronutrients. If you're a conventional farmer as well, you're also applying an herbicide or anything like that, you're going across the field anyway, so it can be a really easy thing just to throw in there and then you basically get a free ride across the field with it. It might cost a couple bucks an acre to do it, but it's gonna pay huge dividends in the end.